John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text Behold now, I have two daughters which have not known man, let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do yet to them as is good in your eyes only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. Genesis 19.8 Commentary Behold now, I have two daughters, which have not known man. Though some think they were espoused to men, but had not yet cohabited with them, see Genesis 19.14. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do yet to them as is good in your eyes. This was a very great evil in Lot to make such an offer of his daughters, it was contrary to parental love and affection, and exposing the chastity of his daughters, which should have been his care to preserve, nor had he a power to dispose of them in such a manner and though fornication is a lesser evil than sodomy, yet all evil is to be avoided, and even it is not to be done that good may come nothing can be said to excuse this good man, but the hurry of spirit, and confusion of mind that he was in, not knowing what to say or do to prevent the base designs of those men, that he might be pretty certain they would not accept of his offer, their lust burning more after men than women, that this showed his great regard to the laws of hospitality, that he had rather sacrifice his daughters to their brutal lusts, than give up the men that were in his house to them, and that he might hope that this would soften their minds, and put them off of any further attempt, but after all it must be condemned as a dangerous and imprudent action. Only unto these men do nothing. For as yet he knew them not to be angels, had he, it would not have given him the concern it did, since he must have known that they were able to defend themselves, and that the sin these men offered to commit could not be perpetrated on them but he took them for mere men, and his request is, that no injury might be done to their persons in any respect, and especially in that way which their wicked hearts put them upon, and is so shocking to nature. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. For though it was not their intention in coming, nor the design of providence in bringing them into Lot's house, to secure them from the violence of the men of Sodom, but for the preservation of Lot and his family, which as yet he knew nothing of, yet it was what Lot had in view in giving the invitation to them and the laws of hospitality being reckoned sacred and inviolable, a man's house was accounted an asylum for strangers when taken into it.